Hey everybody, it's Jessica. Today I'm doing something a little bit different on my channel and I want to do a get ready with me and chit chat video. I noticed that there are a lot of YouTubers out there doing it and it's really fun. I feel like I'm getting to know my friends on YouTube a little bit better. So I thought I'd do it and here we go. Let's just get started. So this video is going to be less about the makeup and the product and how I'm applying it to more about just putting it on and talking to you guys and having some fun. So I'm starting out by prepping the skin. I'm using Charlotte Tilbury's Wonder Glow. I love it. I use it all the time. It's like my go-to favorite kind of primer moisturizer. There's like little gold flecks in it. So I probably sound like a broken record at this point, but I still can't believe that we made it to the top six of the face awards. I'll, I'll be packing my bags the rest of this week and preparing my look for you all. I hope you really enjoy it. My flight leaves on Sunday and then we will all be there for two weeks and I'm so excited. And this is just gonna be an experience of a lifetime. I know I talk about it a lot, um, but why not? You know, this is like such a great opportunity and I'm just so looking forward to it. Okay, now I'm taking this Tatcha Deep Hydration Firming Eye Serum and it's so cool. It's like an under eye serum and it's like a really cold tip. Like it really like deep puffs like the circles under your eyes because it's so cold. And I love, 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 love this. I've been using it for like a week now and I really feel like it's made a difference. So tell me out there, who has ever been to LA? I've only been one time. I actually auditioned for a girl group called Girlicious. So the Pussycat Dolls was doing a audition out there to create like a second girl group. So they had the Who Wants to Be the Pussycat Doll season of like when they were auditioning girls to be like another member for the Pussycat Dolls. Then the next season, and I think this was on the CW. Yeah, it was on the CW and they were having auditions to make a new girl group so i saved all my money all summer um and i it was like 600 hundred dollar flight to la from new mexico because i bought it like the week of so it was super expensive but i ended up using my own money i flew myself out there and i auditioned for this girl group i made it to like the second round i think there were like 50 girls left and there were like hundreds in line and it was a really cool experience i had no money i was so broke but Somehow, some way, I, I got there with the money I had saved. And it was a cool experience. It was very risky for a 16-year-old girl to fly out to LA by herself and do something like this. But I really wanted to do it. And I felt like I wasn't going to know if I didn't go. You know, like I've been auditioning my whole life and this... That audition just really called to me. But anyways, to get back to LA is that I didn't really get the experience to like see LA, like explore, you know, sightsee, any of that stuff. So I feel like this time around that I'm gonna be there for two weeks, I'm gonna be able to hopefully get a little bit more of an experience, like an overall LA experience. Yeah, so if you know of any like amazing places you think I should see in LA, please post in the comments below because I want to make sure I don't miss anything. I'll be there for a full two weeks. I know we'll have a lot of events planned and fun stuff like that. So I feel like I'm going to get a little bit of free time. So I definitely want to make a list on like the must see or must go to places or eat at places. I also wanted to tell you guys that all of the ladies who made the top six for the face awards, we actually created an Instagram message group and we're all getting to know each other a little bit better. This way when we all fly into LA and meet each other, it's not like we have no idea who each other is. So we have been having so much fun just back and forth, having like the funniest group chat and it's so much fun. Like each girl is hilarious and we actually have planned like a little performance we're gonna do, like a little video we wanna all do together and we'll just all go to like one girl's room and have so much fun and do like a little mini music video. So that's kind of what we've been planning. I feel like some people think that we're like all against each other, like we're all super competitive and wanting to be better than the other, but that is like so far from the truth. We all just feel thankful to have this opportunity Opportunity, and we all feel like winners you know all six of us feel like winners we put a lot of work into it and they are just really awesome girls and I feel like you will all see that as like the next two weeks unravel in LA anyways 
like you'll see us hanging out, you know, going to lunch together, doing events together, and we're just all taking this experience as like such an amazing gift and opportunity that like why go in to it with like a negative perspective or or being like watching your back or being like super duper competitive we're all going to express our love for makeup and do our best but at the same time cheer each other on and i think that's really important to do another thing you all might not know is that the top six is actually split into two in a way we have three contestants from the u.s and three from canada so I thought that was super cool that it worked out that way, that there were like an even split. So some of you guys may not know this about me, but I'm originally from Albuquerque, New Mexico. And I'm a bit of a travel gypsy type of girl. Like I lived in Germany when I was little. My mom and dad were both in the Navy um, for years, like for four years or almost five years we lived out there. And then we moved to Clovis, New Mexico, then to Albuquerque. Then from there, I went to college in New York and then kind of traveled on a cruise ship and ended up in Texas. I lived in New Jersey for a little while and then I'm now in Texas because I met my amazing husband doing the Dallas Cowboys cheerleaders. I actually met him at a pool party. So it was like the first month, maybe the second month that I moved to Dallas I had tried out for the Cowboys and I was in training camp so I hadn't made the team yet but I was in training camp so I was like a candidate so if you've ever seen um, DCC making the team or Dallas Cowboys cheerleaders making the team on CMT they actually document that whole process of when you're a training camp candidate and then you're trying out to actually be on the team so you're not on the team if you're on that show you're just, you're just actually in the training camp trying to make the team but anyways it was actually during that summer when i was in training camp that i actually met him at a pool party and he was so sweet he was there with his friends i was there with my friends and he just came up to me and you know offered me a little drink and we started talking and he just was really sweet and we realized that we both have like the same values and morals and um, liked a lot of the same everything food music everything we did together we realized it was a common interest and it just kind of grew from there it was like date after date hanging out um, I, I'd say from the first few first dates it was we both knew for sure we wanted to be together and I'm so happy we stayed together because now we're married it's been two years and we just absolutely love each other so speaking of my husband we are actually trying to grow our family so right now I have three stepchildren three amazing stepchildren and we are looking into IVF so we've been talking about this for a while and I'm hoping that sometime soon we're gonna be able to go ahead and do it. I'm so, so, so excited. I just, I wanna have a little baby so bad and I think, I think I just would love that experience. And I'm hoping I'll be a good mom. I feel like I will. People tell me that. So we'll just have to wait and find out because that is something that I have been praying for and I'm hopeful that it will happen in the future. So just wanted to let you guys know about that. I'm sure once we get started on that, I'm going to let everyone know and hopefully document that whole journey because I think it's important because infertility is like such a big thing that affects so many people all over the world and why not talk about it like why not share our stories encourage people to have strength and hope and faith and so i know this would be a little bit premature but i'm hoping for a little girl and with our last name is khalil it's spelled k-a-l-i-l -L. i'm just curious if any of you out there have any baby girl names or baby boy names just in case that would go with our last name khalil so if you have any suggestions, please drop them down. I'd love to hear and read everything. I want to know what you guys think. And I think it'd be really fun to kind of go through different names. Okay, now I'm moving on to some contour. I'm going to pick up this lighter, taupier shade here and then maybe dab a little bit of the darker shade in to create some more dimension. So have you guys been watching The Bachelor? First of all, can we talk about how stunning Rachel is like she's beautiful she's never awkward she has the right things to say at the right time I feel like she can really get into like the nitty-gritty of people and what they mean like she does not even hesitate like she doesn't let you hesitate so 
She wants to know how you feel and wants to get to the root of those feelings, which I think is so important nowadays to like not beat around the bush. But I know it's easier said than done. I am sad, however, that she sent Dean home. I thought he was so sweet and so cute and I thought they would have been such a good couple. But I am not her, I am not Dean, so I cannot make that decision. But I'm definitely team Dean, for sure. Okay, now I'm going into Max Give Me Sun Mineralized Skin Finish and I'm taking this Fluffy It Cosmetics brush and I'm going to start to bronze my face. So what did you guys want to be when you were little? Like I know everyone goes through seasons of like I want to be a doctor, I want to be an astronaut, but what was something that was like repetitive topic or occupation that kind of kept coming up? Like, for me, it's definitely being a painter. Like, I always wanted to be an artist. I wanted to sit in front of a canvas and just create this art and show it and have, like, an art gallery. That kind of was always a goal of mine when I was little. And although I haven't done something like an art gallery, I feel like showcasing my makeup on YouTube is kind of my inner little girl Jessica that has always wanted to put artwork out there. And one of my idols, and he still is, is Bob Ross. I don't know if you guys used to watch the Bob Ross painting show, but he always had like these sweetest little gems of encouragement and like amazing little quotes that I loved. And I feel like he just said anyone can be an artist, um, believe in yourself. He like addressed so many issues that like we all go through and he was just like everyone's like favorite uncle in my opinion. If you watched Bob Ross, he was your fave and he was my fave. So I feel like he influenced me to become like my inner artist and not to be afraid and whatever you put on the canvas or on your face or whatever you're making crafts, it's, it's, it's the right way to do it because it's you and art is not wrong and it's so special and I just want to give a huge shout out to Bob Ross because he is the coolest for sure and if you don't know who he is his stuff is still all over YouTube and I feel to me I feel like he's still very relevant so check him out all right now I'm moving on to blush I'm picking up this NYX ombre blush in the shade soft flush and it's so, so pretty. I have not used it yet, so I'm a little bit nervous. So I'm not sure if it's like crazy pigmented or not, but let's try. Let's see what happens. Hmm. That, it's not too harsh. It's going in really smooth, actually. And I'm noticing my battery is dying, so I'm going to go switch it out and be right back. Okay, so I wanted to address something about my YouTube channel. So... I know that it is a small channel and that's okay. I don't think there's anything wrong with that at all. I feel like we've grown a ton at the beginning of this year. We started with one subscriber in February or was it the end of January? I keep getting it confused. It was either the last week of January or the first week of February. I cannot remember, but we've grown so much. I know we're just over 2,000 subscribers here and I think that's amazing. I, I'm very happy. I'm very excited that we have this group here on YouTube. I'm able to share what I love to do. And not only that, but I want to encourage other people out there to keep on going. Other YouTubers, um, you know, that have less subscribers than I do or more, like just keep going because this is what you love to do. If you love the filming process, putting your work out there, I think you should do it. I think something compelled you in your heart to want to do it. And I think you should just keep on doing it. Don't ever listen to any negative comments or anyone saying, you know, you're not doing good enough or you're not producing enough content or it should be this way or the lighting should be that way. Like you can't let that stuff eat at you. And I feel like there has been some negative comments as far as like my channel and the growth of it and how long it's been I've been you know posting content and I'm not gonna let that bother me at all like I post when I can post when I feel the need to when I feel compelled to inspired to motivated to and that's my prerogative just like it's anyone else's out there one of my goals is to start posting more in a series that I've thought about that I want to come up with is Women Crush Wednesday and that would be to on Wednesday I would post a video where I'm actually transforming myself as somebody that I admire and that has like a story behind them 
So for example, an obvious one would be maybe Jennifer Lopez for me, maybe Selena Quintanilla, maybe Wonder Woman. So it can be characters, it can be real life people or heroes or historical figures. I feel like it's important to do that, to do like a woman crush Wednesday. And if I don't get every Wednesday, that's okay. But that'll be my goal to start off. So what do you guys think about that? Do you think that is a good idea? Is that something you guys would be interested in? So at the end of the day, I guess why I started that topic was because I'm hoping to inspire some of you out there to enter makeup competitions, do something like the NYX Cosmetics Face Awards if you want to. If you have like this burning desire and you've just been scared every year and you're like, oh, I'll just wait till next year, I'll just wait till next year, go ahead and do it. Like there's really nothing you can lose and everything to gain because you're gonna learn so much from doing it. You're gonna learn about yourself, your talent, your talent level, your skill level. You'll know if you need to work harder or learn better editing skills or, you know, get a better camera or lighting or whatever it is but like you're not going to know what you need to fix or improve on until you give it a shot so why not give it the shot okay moving on to eyeshadow now i just got the subculture palette so this is from anastasia beverly hills there's been lots of mixed reviews on this palette and i wanted to give it a try for myself instead of watching all of the reviews i mean i did I'm not gonna lie i did watch some of the reviews and the majority of them are not as nice. But you know what? I ordered the dang palette. Why not go ahead and try it out? Okay, so this is what it looks like. They're stunning, stunning colors. Coming from someone who is a painter, I see lots and lots of options. If we're talking just the shades in this palette, I feel like there is an unlimited range of eye looks you can do here. I mean, you could stay super warm. You could go cool tone you could do super metallic you can just keep it rosy and bright you know the greens and the yellows i mean this theoretically with these colors this palette should be so versatile so i've seen that people were like really upset because it was like too powdery but the other palette is really powdery too so i mean i feel like that's what you get with these eyeshadows like they're super creamy they're super pigmented they're gonna be powdery like i don't think there's a way around it now the level of how much powder that's up for a debate so i think it's gonna be your preference on how you feel if it's too much for you so what are some of y'all's all-time favorite eyeshadow palettes I absolutely love this eyeshadow palette by Tarte. It is so versatile. If you're looking to spend a little bit of money at Sephora and you want that perfect neutral look where you can create a smoky eye, but you can also make it very warm or you can just, you know, brush over a rosy color with some shimmer. It's like, definitely my go-to travel. Like, I never go anywhere without it. So if you have one of those palettes, please list it below because I'd love to check it out. I'm always on the hunt for new makeup. Makeup is my life, if you cannot tell. Now I'm picking up a little bit of fudge to darken my crease. Okay, now I got my eyelashes on, my eyeliner, and I do a little bit of a pink white eyeliner in my crease. This is from NYX. This is called Faux Whites, and the shade is linen, but it has like a little baby pink hue to it. So it's almost like milk, uh, like a strawberry milkshake shade. That's what I would call this shade. So I put that right in my waterline. So, oh, one thing I wanted to share with you guys, and maybe you've already seen it, but this guy did like a 90s mashup on Facebook. Well, I don't know where it was, but let me show it to you because if you're a 90s kid like I was, you're going to die. Okay, you guys, you have to check this out. Oh my gosh, so his name is Todrick Hall, and he is living, like you have to see him. So I guess his Instagram is at Todrick, T-O-D-R-I-C-K. Please go watch him, like he is so amazing. Plus he has a Selena shirt on, and so that's what caught my eye right away. And then just the whole mashup is like super duper cool. All right, let's move on to lipstick. I haven't used this one in a while. This is from ColourPop, and this is in the shade Lumiere. 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 
Who knows? Okay, that is the Lumiere lip liner from ColourPop. And then I'm going into Tarte's Pink Lemonade Lipstick. And I'm going to just highlight the center a little. I like it. I think it's cute. We'll leave it for a little bit. If I want to change it up, then we'll change it up. Right, now that my face is pretty much done. I forgot I normally set my face before I do my eye makeup so that nothing gets like crinkled here. But I did it after and I think it's okay. Alright, well that was it you guys. I hope you enjoyed this little journey of me getting ready and chatting and not really going into too much detail on the makeup and on the application. I hope you learned a little bit more about me and I hope to learn a little bit more about you down in the comments below. So make sure you interact with me. I want to know your story. I want to know what's going on and I will try my best to respond. Please know that when I leave to LA, I will be vlogging. I've never vlogged before. Target sent us a GoPro camera, so I'm hoping I could use that. I may also bring the camera that I'm talking to right now. I don't know, I'll have to see. Um, but anyways, I'll be using my phone at the very least if I can't get my GoPro into some place, which I can't imagine that would be an issue. But I'm going to try my best, and then at the end of the two weeks, um, hopefully after I can come back home and edit all that vlogging footage and post it for you guys to see what an amazing journey it will be. I know it will. So I want to make sure I include all of you, all of my loving subscribers, my Jesse squad. I love you guys. You are the reason I am here. I made it this far, and I appreciate it. I feel like we're family. So please watch that vlog, and yeah, I will not forget to do it. I will put it reminder in my phone every day to bring that vlog camera and make sure I am getting some footage. Oh, All right, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you had a blast. If you want to know details about any of the makeup I used, I'm going to list it below. And in the meantime, if you have not subscribed, please do so. Please like this video so I can tell if you guys like the content I'm putting out there. And especially like it if you want to see another Get Ready With Me chit chat video. I'd love to do these. Um, it was really fun. And it actually was like therapeutic to talk about a few things and kind of just take a time out and yeah, just talk about it. So thank you guys so much. Don't forget I'm on Twitter and Instagram. I'm at gorgeous effects. I'll go ahead and list it down below and I'm also on Facebook. Um, please just go ahead and follow my Facebook page. I post a lot. You'll get to see some more pics there. So thank you so much. I love you so much. You guys are so amazing and until the vlog video, I will see you next time and as always, love and hugs from my home